Often when working in Photoshop, I come across certain situations where I need to alter my Photoshop workspace to better suit the type of work that I am performing, which could involve turning on and off panels, repositioning or resizing panels, and even customizing menu options and changing keyboard shortcuts. Well, in these situations, if the type of work that I am performing becomes constant or reoccurring, I like to create a custom workspace just for that particular task. And then I'm able to actually jump between a several different workspace according to what I'm actually working on. But before you start to create a new workspace, make sure that you actually save any changes that you've made to your current workspace that you're happy with in order to actually retain them so you can jump back to them at a later date. Now, if you haven't made any changes or just using one of Photoshop's default workspaces, the first thing you need to do is start to customize and organize your workspace to best suit your style of post-processing. Now, once you've made those changes to the appearance of Photoshop with regards to your menu options, keyboard shortcuts, and let's not forget which panels you actually want turned on and off, where they're positioned and how they're actually resized, we can then go ahead and actually proceed to save our new workspace. So let's make some changes to my workspace. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to actually grab this column here. I'm going to drag it across just so I have a larger area for my panels from which I can actually work with. Then I can actually choose to actually move some of these panels. So for example, let's turn on history and what I might do is just drag that up into this group here. And we might just say reduce that again. And we have the histogram. I might want to change the histogram to actually make sure that that's set to maybe uh, all channels, for example. So that's quite quite obvious and now we can actually proceed to make some further adjustments and let's say we grab the info palette and we just drop that down in the bottom left hand corner here where I can look at it all the time. So now I've made a couple of different changes to the workspace um, and, and once you're essentially happy with it what we can then do is go up the top here to window and then click on or just drag your mouse over workspace and that's where you'll actually find all of Photoshop's current presets. So you'll notice here we have the essentials which is the default, we have photo which is my current custom workspace that I've actually created, uh, we have 3D, design, motion, painting and photography, they're all presets of Photoshop. Now the important area we actually want to look at is just below that it's actually these three options here and the first is reset photo and so it'll actually say reset whatever your name of your actual working space is and then it will be new working space and delete working space so in this case what I actually want to do is create a new working space so I'm going to click on that and the first thing that you'll actually notice is you'll have a little window pop up and it'll ask you to actually name your workspace so I'm going to actually call this say test um, test workspace and underneath where you actually name your workspace you have the capture options now this is essentially where it informs you of whether you actually want to capture uh, all of your keyboard shortcuts that you've changed and all of your menu options that you may have changed also so in this case I usually like to actually check these but you may just have overall keyboard shortcuts and overall menu options that you set for all your working spaces and you may not choose to actually set that but you can actually specify individual ones for individual working spaces if you choose now once I've done that all I need to do is essentially click save and then I have a new workspace and you'll notice it up here in the top right hand corner if I just drag that across I have several different working spaces that I can jump between that are just up the top here so my original workspace was photo and now it's actually test workspace but if I jump back to essentials this will actually start to change and we have design and then we have painting and we have uh, photography so we have a range of different presets here along with our own custom workspace that we've created for a particular task so once you've actually saved your workspace it's active it's ready to go uh, anytime you wish to use it now the thing to remember is now that I've actually changed photo to represent the test workspace what I can actually do now is actually go back to uh, window and we'll go to workspace and we'll just reset photo and that'll actually reset it 
to my original settings that I had prior to actually making changes. So now when I jump between the two, you'll notice that they change quite substantially. So that's essentially how you go about creating custom workspaces in Photoshop. In the next video, I'll discuss how to improve the performance of how Photoshop runs on your computer by making a few changes to Photoshop's preferences.